northeast end of Island Lake. I assume you're talking about this is Island Lake, Sleet Island. Northeast end, so you think it's over here? We'll find it. It's the thing I saw but didn't really pay attention to because it didn't have any effect on me. They didn't try and kill me, you know? Teleporter to where? Is this hub? No. Ah. Here. I remember there. Okay. Um... I could probably get air here and make my way around this way. Hey there, underwater enemy. Oh yeah, and we also don't know how to close that bridge. There's a bridge covering up this area. Hmm. Which we never figured out how to deal with. We've got a chest down there. We don't know how to open this. Okay, so there are other puzzles. Yeah, we got serpents. And I've got a serpent stick. Or whatever that's worth. Wake up. Uh, guys? Uh. I mean, they're not really doing any damage to me. What's that? What the waking up the serpents was is I hit the statue and then suddenly a bunch of these guys pop up. I wouldn't think so. Oh, I'm back. Throwing weapons. All right, and there was another one we saw over there. Meanwhile, wake up. Seems like that's not what I'm supposed to do. Oh, you died too fast. Okay. I think they're all dead. But just having them all pop up at once makes me think that it's... a thing. Howdy, TK Pow. Welcome. Alright. What if we use your special? Yeah. Thinking that's not working. So if we popped out of that teleporter, wherever it comes from, we could then open that door. That's an exit. Oh, right. We've got a clue here that I don't remember. So, we don't need the meteor. We found that. Head towards sunrise. Beyond the gate from Silent Head. Silent Head is here. Let's read exactly what it says, but we were thinking it was something in the cemetery. Uh, that was our hub. Oh yeah, there's more area in the cemetery we haven't explored. We got sidetracked. So, uh, 
Maybe we should go back to the cemetery and see what we can find. I was just hopeful that when they said the serpents can be woken up, and then I remembered the serpent staff, I thought maybe there's a connection, but it doesn't seem to be. All right. Hey there, dudes. You're welcome to attack me. You will lose. Unless you catch me underwater, in which case you will win. Hey. You. What exactly did you say? The Silent One has a friend who is more willing to speak. Head towards the sunrise beyond the gate to find him. So that's the Silent One. Head towards sunrise, which is the east. Beyond the gate, whatever that means. And you'll find him. Maybe over here? If that's a gate? I don't know. Head towards sunrise beyond the gate. Silent One is a friend who is more willing to speak. Head towards the sunrise beyond the gate to find him. Yeah. We assumed it would be somewhere here in the cemetery. But I don't remember seeing a head that was willing to talk. Oh well. Let's just head out of here to the cemetery and we can keep exploring that. Forgot that we still have unexplored areas, so that's what I should be doing rather than trying to find new puzzles to sort out. Where? Oh, I am in the wrong location. Okay, we've gotten in here. We haven't explored down this way yet. At least not far. Hello, you. Goodbye, you. Hey, this is another cemetery we haven't been to. Ludiar Munfar, slave from Uttermost, a blacksmith like no other. See, these mainly seem to be... Lore. Uh. Hey there, zombie. I didn't sign up to be fighting undead. Well, possibly the... No, we got the hub for this area. I was forgetting that. Which I should have marked on my map wherever it was here. Hub uh, teleporter. Thinking we were still looking for the key. But, uh, hey friend. I mean, you don't do that much damage. Some. You're starting to hurt my barbarian. We got another one here. wonder if there's going to be infinite of these, because they're just popping out of the ground. And how do I correctly back myself into a corner if they can just pop out of the ground? Alright, we've got a small pit here, but it's small, so... Food. A shovel. Are you implying that I should be digging up Stuff. Guess that would make some sense. Wonder if I can rest here because while I'm at the bottom of the ladder, no one should be able to come down here to get to me. Yes? Apparently, yes. Should I dig up graves? Is that a thing? I don't know if that's related to me digging.
Ja. I mean, they're good experience and pretty easy to kill, so I have no complaints. But the fact that they're providing me a shovel makes me think that there are diggable spots. But I don't know how I will find obviously diggable spots. Well, digging up graves, it seems. Jacqueline Riddle, banished from Etola, the famous puzzle right, traveled to the Tavern of Wormflight to start a new life. Efforts were in vain for the inn he was slain by the river of Eel near the town of Needle. Sure. Another teleporter over there. Wrangle Fjordwalker. He might have been spared of his fate if his promises were as strong as his back. Okay. Neat. Healing potion, sure. Uh, who ha did I give the weak healing potions to? Looks like to my rogue. And that's all that we found. Shouldn't have probably hit a random button. Huh. Nameless, he refused to die. Uh, what did I find? Leather gloves. Is anyone needing leather gloves? No. Alright, so I could throw something into that teleporter. Bless me. <laughs> Can't tell quite what that's doing. Probably shooting something out of this directly into those pots. Let's drop a rock on here, then hit this button. Yeah, it's over too fast, so I can't tell. We throw... Okay. We are breaking pots. I just threw all of my rocks. I was trying to throw one at a time. Well, hopefully we can get them back. Like, we're doing damage, but we've done a lot of damage. Or I feel like if this was working, it would have finished working by now. Can't really see. So, am I needing to... Break these pots? Is this slowly breaking the pots? No. Presumably I could do a similar thing of throwing my weapons. And if I... Probably throwing them like I have been, like this, does basically no damage. But... If I had my character throw them, it probably does more damage. Yes. Okay. So that's the solution there. So as for this...
it gets teleported here. While this pressure plate's hit. So if I stand here with a rock on this, throw, turn, grab the rock really fast, it should end up teleporting to there. To do whatever that teleporter next does with it. Okay, we broke some pots over there, for whatever reason. I'm just using up all of my ammunition. Okay, uh, that broke those pots. So now when these pots are gone, then this should be able to shoot all the way through. So I just have to finish breaking these pots. There. Now it'll do whatever it needs to do. Okay. We're getting somewhere now. Pick up that. All of my stuff. Okay. That got me over here. Wherever here is. Oh, we've got another zombie over there. Come on. I want to fight you. <laughs> okay, so this is somewhere new. Yeah, we haven't been over here yet. Uh, hey there. You guys popping up behind me is worrying. Like, I like to clear out the areas behind me. And so when enemies come up behind me, it's like, where did you come from? You definitely weren't there before. I'm too strong? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Okay, that'll get me into another new area, so we'll hold off on that. Another drop down area. Ethereal blade. Light weapon, 10 to 30 plus dexterity, accuracy plus 15. Uh, definitely replace that one. Because 5 to 15 versus 10 to 30 is a obvious choice. And this pit goes where? Alright. You wish to die? Wow, you are doing some damage to my battle mage. Now, I want to read that. And we've got another skull for my Minotaur. I don't know if the skulls can be in a bag, if that counts. There's a fountain with an ancient oak by its side. From the oak, take four steps to the east, and then two steps to the south shall you stride. The treasure now lies beneath your feet. Okay. The only fountain I remember is this one. It's not to say that is the only fountain, but that's the one that comes to mind. Uh, actually, let's rest here. Oh, you are starving. Have some tongue. They can be in a bag? Really? Well, that would make things a lot easier. I guess, can I check his stats to verify that? Because he has... Uh, Headhunter, plus one strength for each skull carried. His strength is 42. If I 
drop this bag on the ground. His strength is 36. You are correct. Well, that certainly opens up my inventory quite a bit. We'll put the meteor in there as well. Uh, and you also need to eat some food. You could use a little bit. And you could use a little bit. Have an egg. There. Where else? We've explored there. That's all explored, I guess, just down here now. And then down here it looks like we didn't get to. Lost on a quick save. Okay, we've got an underground dungeon area. Legend of Killigan. Trying as hard as he could, Killigan could not avenge his crew. With time and with the words of the stone philosophers echoing in his mind, he finally let his wrath go. In the following years, he gradually gained the illumination and he became a seeker of Nex. Uh, a machete and a round shield. I don't care for either of those. You don't happen to have anything buried here, do you? No? Alright, we could go downstairs. But I want to explore here first. Which, unfortunately, means I've got to go all the way back around. To... Here. Yeah. Oh, we got another zombie over here. Like, I somewhat feel really strong, but then I've come across those air elementals, and I suddenly no longer feel strong. Let's see. Around this way. We've got a closed gate. Pressure plate that doesn't seem to... Ooh. Oh, a timing puzzle. Well, that's gonna suck. Oh, that was not what I wanted. Let's tuck myself in a corner. <laughs> All right, come here, guys. Misclicking is a common thing for me. The ethereal blade doesn't seem to actually work on undead. Always zero. Yeah. I might switch it back. Maybe it'll work on non-undead. But constantly doing zero damage doesn't feel good. Alright, you. Grab that weapon again. And do I feel like having you use a healing potion? Or do we assume that there's no more undead around? Looks like my gamble of no more undead has paid off. Good stuff. Well, since I'm down here, let's explore if there's anything of interest. Yes. Uh, some food. We'll put it into our usual food sack. And then, there's that. Alright, back up here. Let's not screw this up this time. Okay. Why was the order different? 
It was that one before. Now it's center, then left, and then right. Is it because I got a rock through that one? Is it changing up its pattern just to torture me? There, I got all three. I think it was just changing up its pattern to mess with me, which is very rude. Okay, and then it teleported the rocks here to signal to open that, I guess. So I'll just leave those there. Okay. Don't know why I'm smashing all the things, but why not? You weren't there a moment ago. Goodbye. Rona Riddle, Hallowed Woods of Arn Arwen, Awen, claimed another victim. Remaining puzzles designed by him were lost in the burned library of Ormond. Oh, we've got a bunch of undead here. Just looking back over there. Probably should make some more healing potions because my barbarian is getting pretty hurt. While we're here, let's try digging up in front of this grave. We've had good success with finding treasure. Not this time, it seems. All right, drink your healing potion. And you make a couple more. You've got one, have a second. You've got one, plus two miners, which is probably fine. And you've got two, so that's good enough. Hey, buddy. Let's tuck into a corner and then rest. Fastest way to heal. Sounds familiar that zero. Not sure what you're talking about, pseudonym. Recipe. Another recipe. Cool. Uh, Necromancer's potion to black moss. I don't know what a necromancer's potion would do. Let's give you a bag, store all your recipes in. Maybe some of your other throwing items that I don't particularly care about. And that clue. I could see myself pulling out the throwing axes at some point, even though I don't have many, so I don't have them as my primary. But if I get into a tough enough fight, it's more damage. Every night, the Silent One sees something, look where he looks, and be patient. Look.
look more silent one looks at night and be patient well we know where the silent one is here so just look in that direction and be patient that I can do. 